Hello, good day everyone. This is Andrew again. And now, we're going to discuss PLC Programming Training Part 15. Now, let's start. Exercise 1. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have two push buttons and two actuators. If PB1 is pressed, the process will start. If PB2 is pressed, the process will stop. If process is running, lamp 1 will turn on and lamp 2 will turn off. If process is idle, lamp 1 will turn off and lamp 2 will turn on. Now let's discuss the process. As you can see here, cylinder 1 will extend. Then after cylinder 1 reaches the fully extended position, cylinder 2 will extend. Then if both of them is at full extended position, they will retract simultaneously. Okay, let's have our demonstration. Now, let's press PB1. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. This will be my answer to this exercise. As you can see, lamp 2 is initially on because the process is idle. Now let's press PB1. By pressing PB1, X0 will be energized and that will cause Y0 to turn on. And because there's a latching here, Y0 will not turn off and Y0 will cause lamp 1 to turn on. Now, because Y0 is on and cylinder 1 is at fully retracted position, it will cause Y3 to turn on and because there's a latching here, Y3 will not turn off unless X5 and X7 is activated. And because Y3 is on, cylinder 1 will extend. And now, because cylinder 1 is at full extended position, the normally close contact of X5 here will be open. And the normally open contact of X5 here will be closed. And because cylinder 2 is at fully retracted position, X6 here is on. And it will cause Y4 to turn on. And if Y4 is on, it will cause the cylinder 2 to extend. And now, because cylinder 2 is at fully extended position, X7 will turn on. And that will cause the normal close contact of X7 here to be open. And this one also. And because the normally close contact of X7 is open right now, it will cause Y4 and Y3 to turn off. And because of that, cylinder 1 and cylinder 2 will both retract. And as you can see here, X4 is activated again and that will cause Y3 to turn on again. And the cycle will repeat. And the only way to stop the cycle is by turning off Y0. And to turn off Y0, we need to energize X1 by pressing PB2. And as you can see here, Y1 is activated again and it will cause lamp 2 to turn on. And now, let's have our simulation. Let's press PB1.
Okay, that's it. Now let's go to our next exercise. Exercise 2. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have two push buttons and two actuators. If PB1 is pressed, the process will start. If PB2 is pressed, the process will stop. If process is running, lamp 1 will turn on and lamp 2 will turn off. If process is idle, lamp 1 will turn off and lamp 2 will turn on. And as you can see on our process here, cylinder 1 will extend and after it reaches the full extended position, it will retract. Then after that, cylinder 2 will extend. Then after it reaches the full extended position, it will retract and the cycle will repeat. Now, let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. Okay, this will be my answer for this exercise. As you can see here, lamp 2 is on because the process is idle. Now, let's press PB1. By pressing PB1, X0 will be energized and that will cause Y0 to turn on. And because there's a latching here, Y0 will not turn off even if X0 is off. And because Y1 is a negated coil, it will turn off now because y0 is on here and cylinder 2 is at fully retracted position and our internal relay m0 is off y3 will turn on and by turning on y3 cylinder 1 will extend And now, because cylinder 1 reaches the full extended position, X5 will be energized. And that will cause M0 to turn on. And now, because the normal close contact of X5 is now open, it will cause Y3 to turn off. And by turning off Y3, cylinder 1 will be retract. And as you can see here, because M0 is activated and cylinder 1 is at fully retracted position, then cylinder 2 is at fully retracted position also. Y4 will turn on. And as you notice here, M0 is preventing Y3 to turn on again. And the normally open contact of M0 here will allow Y4 to turn on. And by turning on Y4, cylinder 2 will extend. Now, cylinder 2 reaches the full extended position. And that will cause X7 to turn on. And all the normally close contact of X7 is now open. And because of that, M0 will turn off. And Y4 as well. And by turning off Y4, Cylinder 2 will retract. And as you can see here, normally close contact of M0 is now close. And it will cause Y3 to turn on. And the cycle of this process will repeat. And the only way to turn off the process is by turning off Y0. 
And to turn off Y0, we need to energize X1. And that's it. Now, let's have our simulation. Let's press PB1. Okay, that's it. Now, let's go to our next exercise. Exercise 3. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have two push buttons and two actuators. If PB1 is pressed, the process will start. If PB2 is pressed, the process will stop. If process is running, lamp 1 will turn on and lamp 2 will turn off. If process is idle, lamp 1 will turn off and lamp 2 will turn on. And as you can see in this process, cylinder 1 will extend and after it reaches the full extended position, cylinder 2 will extend and after cylinder 2 reaches the full extended position, it will retract. And when cylinder 2 reaches the fully retracted position, cylinder 1 will retract. Now let's have our demonstration. Now let's press PB1. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. This will be my answer to this exercise. Let's have our program analysis. As you can see, lamp 2 is initially on because the process is idle. Now, let's press PB1. By pressing PB1, X0 will be energized and that will cause Y0 to turn on. And because there is a latching here, Y0 will not turn off even if X0 is off. And because Y0 is on, and cylinder 1 is at fully retracted position, it will cause Y3 to turn on. And because Y3 is on, cylinder 1 will extend. And because cylinder 1 reaches the fully extended position, and cylinder 2 is at fully retracted position, it will cause Y4 to turn on. And if Y4 is on, Cylinder 2 will extend. And now, because cylinder 2 is at full extended position, M0 will turn on. And it will cause the normally closed contact of M0 here to be open. And that will cause Y4 to turn off. And by turning off Y4, cylinder 2 will retract. And as you can see here, even if cylinder 2 is at fully retracted position, Y4 will not turn on because the normally closed contact of M0 here is open. And now, as you can see, because cylinder 2 is at fully retracted position and M0 is on, it will cause M1 to turn on. And the normally closed contact of M1 here will be open. And that will cause Y3 to turn off. 
and by turning off widely, cylinder 1 will be retract. And because cylinder 1 is at fully retracted position, both M0 and M1 will turn off. The normally open contact of X4 here will turn on and it will cause Y2 to turn on and the cycle will repeat. And the only way to stop the cycle is by turning off Y0. We need to energize X1 by pressing PB2. And now, let's press PB1. I hope you enjoy watching this video and please wait for the next episode of our tutorial. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Please like and share my YouTube videos and like my Facebook page. Please click see first on our Facebook page to notify you for new posts. If you like this video, please comment nice. Please comment negative and colon and put your negative comments about this video. Please type suggestion semicolon and put the suggestion about this video. And if you think that this video needs some improvement, just type improvement semicolon and put the things that you want to improve about this video. I will use all of your comment, negative comment, suggestion and improvement so that I can improve all my future videos. Thank you for all the feedbacks and thank you again. See you next time.